Welcome everybody. My topic is the up-to-date strategies in the injection therapy of partial tears and the prevention of cutibacterium acnes around the shoulder. So my name is Viktor Weininger and I am from the orthopedic department Semmelweis University. My supervisor is Gabor Kalitsky and my methodology supervisor is Norbert Kovac. Our mission is use fewer 3D injections in our practice and reduce the C acnes culture with effective skin preparation and uh, our vision is a fewer side effects does the fewer steroids and less frequent surgical side infection due to less C acnes germ. Yes, so these are my two main topics. The heal rate and combination are superior to steroids. And the second one is the peroxy skin preparation, reduce the incidence of C acnes around the shoulder. Uh, both of them are methanol diseases. Let's talk about the first topic. So uh, it's good to know that rotator cuff disorders are the most frequent disorder of the shoulders and the pre prevalence of the, the rotator cuff disorders elevate with the aging. Mainly in our practice, if somebody have a partial tear, we use uh, or offer conservative treatment and uh, the co conservative treatment baseline is the, the, the subacromial corticosteroid injection all of you knows that steroids have many side effects. So our aim is uh, replace the steroid with other agents. Yes, so we investigate or comparing the corticosteroid with hyaluronic acid, PRP, the combination of them, regenerative, regenerative cells and saline, uh, which is placebo. And our outcome is the visual scale uh, ACES and CMS scores or hypothesis that different injections have the same efficacy but fewer side effects than steroid. So we did our search at October and finally we had seven different articles and doing our network meta-analysis and this is our first outcome, the visual analog skull. I think all of you knows that zero is the, the best and ten is the worst point. So uh, we compared the different agent with the zero point, the placebo, the saline, yeah. For short term, the hyaluronic acid plus PRP have a clear significant better results than the, the placebo. For longer term, for, for a half year, there is no any significant difference, but in the rank plant, you can see that the, the combination is also uh, better than the, the placebo saline than the different uh, agent. So let's talk about the constant Merle score. It's 0 to 100 point. The 100 is the best and 0 is the worst points. It's contained not only the pain of the shoulder, it's contained also the, the range of the motion. And we can see that for three months, the PRP hyaluronic acid and the combination showed significant better results than the, the placebo zero point. It's really interesting that for longer term there is no significant difference, but on the ranking plot we can see that the combination also uh, the best treatment. The American shoulder and elbow surgeon score is also the same than the, the, the CMS zero to 100 and 100 is the, the best point. Point, and there is no any significant difference, but the, the rank plus shows that the combination is the best treatment. So, of course, our study has strengths and limitation. So we can, uh, our strengths is that we can uh, compare different drugs against placebo, and we have only a very narrow population. We, we investigated only the partial tier, the tendinosis, tendinitis, and uh, full tear was excluded. Unfortunately, there are some limitations. Uh, we had only seven articles and uh, the, the different agents uh, in different art article was not the same. So we had different steroid, we had different PRP and different hyaluronic acid in different uh, RCTs. 
So we can say in conclusion that hyaluronic acid, PRP and the combination have a clear positive effect in short term and the combination show better result for longer term. But of, of course we have some suggestion. Uh, we need some more RCTs uh, in this topic. So uh, based on the, the research, it might be worth considering replacing the steroid injection with other agent. Uh, and the implication for research, further RCTs are needed. Uh, here we are now, we made the, the, the manuscript and I got it back from the, the internal review. I'm, I try to do my best and, and, uh, and hopefully the next weeks we send it out for the, the journal. Let's talk about the second topic, the peroxide skin preparation reduce the incidence of cutibacterium acne around the shoulder. So uh, after the shoulder surgery, about 1% some kind of infection occurring. And the most common organism is the C. acne. C. acne is an anaerobic bacter, gram-negative bacter. And our current surgical skin preparation, alcohol-based skin preparation, ineffective against C. acne. Our aim is to uh, give some uh, peroxide solution to the skin base, uh, alcohol based skin preparation and reduce the C. acne germ. So, our hypothesis the peroxide skin preparation reduced the, the germ count of the C. acne around the shoulder. So, we comparing the, the alcohol based skin preparation and the alcohol based cream, skin preparation plus some kind of peroxide solution. And less C. acne leads to, leads to less subsequent infection. And we did our uh, search and now we have 10 different RCTs and uh, doing the data analysis now. And uh, that was our two topic. And finally, I would like to say thank you for Norbert who was our SMS and uh, I have to say, without him, I can do this year. So thank you very much for him. Thank you. Congrats, Victor, and uh, congrats, Norby. Uh, uh, great results. And uh, first of all, let's send this, uh, send that uh, publication finally to the journal because it's like uh, ready for a month. Uh, I was just uh, wondering uh, that that uh, what uh, I, I mean I understand the clinical outcomes between uh, regarding your first meta analysis the clinical outcomes, uh, but uh, of course you also have to administer these uh, preparations. Uh, do you administer all of them like once a month, once per three months, or are any of them like? Unfortunately, we could compare only these outcomes this time frame. Yeah, yeah, but I mean uh, uh, the way of administration, like uh, do you need to give steroid daily for the patient or... No, okay, once, one? once, 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 at the baseline time and after we investigated, after the baseline point when the patient get the injection, after three months or half year or four weeks. It was one intervention? Yes, the... that was one intervention, yes. Uh, how can that happen actually? I mean if the patient has pain then... Uh... Uh, the patient will also take other medication then, or? Mainly I think uh, not only injection, or physiotherapy also, and, um, and try to avoid the, the movement, which is, is, is not uh, very helpful for the patient, and try to use other sports, mainly the partial tear occurring in the, the, the ball players try to find another sport and so on and uh, the physiotherapy is also very important i think not only one time steroid or other agent physio physiotherapy is also very important to healing the the partial tear